Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer. Uh, we've got Tom Gamble on the phone. And Tom, I hate to let you in on this little secret, but it's just you and me today. Nick's off again. Yeah, so we're off to a good start, right? Wow, are you complimenting me right out of the gate? Well, no, I said you read that oh, rather wow, nicely. Okay. All right, right. Well, But you did. You did a nice job. I know you're right. It is another week of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. Last week, the battle for the bell, Miami Township. And, and I, I didn't have you Uber us there because, quite honestly, I know how to get there. I just don't know the names of streets. It's a beautiful Milford High School. But they hosted. They won their third straight. Tom Grippa was back on the sideline, which was great to see. And, uh, you know, that's one of those rival games. Milford right now is, is kind of off to a great start. Loveland struggling a bit. But nonetheless, great crowd, great atmosphere. And Bridget, we come over to my state, to your state now of residency anyway. That's right. For the that's first time. <laughs> Yes, we're in the NKY tonight, Beachwood hosting Simon Kenton. Later kickoff, 7.30 tonight, right there in Fort Mitchell. This Beachwood team is so good. They won 26 straight games, back-to-back Class 2A state titles in Kentucky. They've outscored their first three opponents 129-7. to Mitchell Berger, Antonio Robinson Jr., just some of their talented players on offense and defense. Uh, but I tell you, Simon Kenton comes in two and one. They lost over the weekend again. It was kind of delayed by some weather. They lost to Southeastern. No, I'm not going to ask you to get there in Kentucky because I don't even know. I know how to get to the southeast part of the state, not the school. But nonetheless, SK comes in. Should be a good one. Uh, Beachwood, as I mentioned, really, really talented. All right. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's going on with the uh, state poll released in Ohio this week. Yeah, well, you know, everybody debates. Everybody debates. And this is the first release. They do these weekly polls voted on by the Associated Press members. And how good is Southwest Ohio? In the Division I poll, which is the largest schools, five of the top ten are from Greater Cincinnati, seven from Southwest Ohio. How about that? I mean, that's pretty impressive. I so you've agree. Got num- yeah, number two, Moeller is in there. Number three, Elder. Then you've also got Lakota West, Princeton, and Fairfield. And then Centerville. And Springfield, I know your listeners up in that greater Dayton area, they're in there as well. But it will be a very difficult test this week on Saturday for number two, Moeller. They travel up to Ironton, classic football city. Ironton High School hosting three games, including Moeller against Our Lady of Good Counsel, which is a nationally reputed program from the greater Baltimore area. Moeller's been outstanding so far. And then Elder, this one's going to be a tough one. They travel up to Northeast Ohio, Lakewood Stadium, to take on Lakewood St. Edward. They're the defending D1 state champ, ranked number one ahead of Moeller and Elder. And they beat Elder last year at the pit 48-14. to 14. That's the reflection on Elder. That's just how good St. Ed's can be. Um, also in the rankings, Winton Woods, defending D2 state champ. They're number one in D2. Baden, Nick's alma mater, number two in D3. Wyoming, number three in D4. And then some other interesting matchups in greater Cincinnati tonight. How about Mason and Coleraine? Coleraine could my alma mater could drop to 0-4 tonight. Princeton, yeah, Princeton, which has been just lights out, scored 71 last week. They're at Hamilton. Lakota West, which has also been really, really good. They host Oak Hills. And then Milford is at Anderson. I mentioned Milford earlier, 3-0 at Anderson. That's in the ECC. And, you know, one thing to mention, Bridget, this kid last year, the Western Brown High School quarterback, Drew Novak, is a junior, threw for more yards, almost 10,000 wow. than any other kid in the country. And you know how you hear when you're, you know, if you're somebody who loves football and you think, man, is there a good story? Is there somebody I ought to go watch? I would suggest going to watch Drew Novak of Western Brown if you want to really see an ounce. I don't know what he'll do at the next level, but in high school, this kid's really, really good. They're at Jackson tonight, so maybe wait till they're at home. But nonetheless, Drew Novak is a kid that really, uh, really deserves getting your attention. Okay. Uh, some other games yeah, in so uh, then- Northern Kentucky that we're looking at? Yeah, we're looking at Covington Catholic is at Dixie Heights, so that's always a decent game. Uh, Dixie Heights came back last week to defeat Connor Newport's at Holmes, and then in southeast Indiana, East Central hosting Franklin County. You know, Moeller, I mentioned Moeller earlier, they have beaten in order Maslin, Washington, Louisville Trinity, and East Central. They, they've kind of done the tri-state, if you will, and that, that's how good this Crusader team is. So, And once again, here we are, I don't want to jinx us, but the weather looks outstanding for tonight again. I mean, we could be four for four, right? It really does. Uh, for the uh, weekend forecast, today is the day. So, uh, yeah, the the weather gods smiling on Friday night lights. How about that? 
How, well, there you go. Look at you. You put something clever together. Yeah, there you go. Now, now, do you want to you want you want to you want to mention you see in the Bengals season opener, or do you want to do Uber first? Oh, let's just torture me early. Let's go. Well, this one you better get. Come on. Now, I mentioned Milford in the showdown last week. They're at Anderson tonight, so I'm trying to get you back to 500. So, games at Anderson High School. There's not a trick. They don't play off campus. Brown Stadium, right there. Get me to Anderson, but you have to be relatively specific. All right, well, I would go all the way out Columbia Parkway uh, to, what is that, Beachmont well, Avenue. Can't... Calm down. Okay. Uh, well, you can't go, what is that, if you're giving directions. I'm thinking through. You just know off the top okay. of your head. Calm down. So, well, anyway. What, you want me to, okay, keep, continue. If, am I not going on Beachmont? Well, I wouldn't. Well, I mean, here's what I would do. I would very simply go out 471, right? Uh, isn't there more than one way to skin miles. a cat? Is my grandmother well, would is. say? There, there, well, there is, but I think this is an easier skinning of this cat. You go 471 <laughs> to 275 east. You take five mile. You turn left. You go up to Beachmont. You turn right. You go to Forest. You turn right, and you're right there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Except. I was going to go Columbia Parkway, and then I was going to go to Beachmont and then take Beachmont all the way out. Maybe I just like a nice leisurely drive down Beachmont Avenue. Bridget, are you forgetting something? I know you. <laughs> right. That, that has nothing to do with a le- – let me tell you something. If you're going for a leisurely drive, you kind of go where there isn't traffic. <laughs> Right? You don't go to like Beachmont, Colerain, Route 18 in Northern Kentucky, Fields Hurdle, right? You go out in the country, as they Maybe say. Maybe we right? have a different definition of leisurely. How about that? Uh, somehow I don't think we do. <laughs> yes. All right, Did you watch the talk- Bearcats last week? Yes. Let's talk about them. They are uh, back. Uh, well, they're at Nippert, kicking off the season they here are. at home. Well, uh, hopefully a little yeah, better than last week. Do you know what state Kennesaw State is in? Um, aren't they Indiana? No, they're, they're in Georgia, but that's okay. Okay, but I, I would tell you, don't Pete Bearcat fans don't go crazy. I, I mean, you know, they should have won that game. They had a lot of pre-snap penalties. They didn't play very well. Ben Bryant, the quarterback, replacing Des Ritter. I mean, he missed some wide open receivers. You know, they had the ball at the three and went backward. I mean, I get all that, but you know, don't I, Luke Fickle, who who I trust, said it best: you don't lose or win your season week one. So they can still win out, have a legitimate chance to do so, and play in a New Year's Day six. And then, how about the excitement of Sunday? Bengals Steelers opening the season, right? It's going to yeah. be crazy. The only thing I would tell Bengal fans: I'm just saying, be cautious. If you watch last night, the Rams, defending Super Bowl champs, right. were battered by the Bills. I mean, it's tough. I mean, people need to remember last year, this Bengals team got hot at the right time. I'm not I'm not telling you this Bengals team can't challenge again for what it did, but it's not that easy. Well, right? and Nick and I it's had this conversation earlier in the week with, uh, you know, coming off of the UC losing. And, and I get the UC and the Bengals had a, a great season last year. There's still time for that. It's early on. Let's not lose our minds on, you know, game one, game two. Well, and Bridget, I'm going to be honest with you. UC had a season to – that's the greatest season ever in UC football history. If anybody had ever said 10, 20 years ago, UC will be in the the national semifinals, people would would say you're nuts. (laughs) Right. So so Luke Fickles ascended this program. Right. They can still do great things. The Bengals – all I'm saying is we haven't seen Joe Burrow throw a pass in a game this season. That's okay. I mean, you heard about Matt Stafford last night. He made some bad plays. Josh Allen wrote, the Bills are really, really, really good. Nobody knows about Pittsburgh. It's a rival game. So just take it one step at a time. There's 17 of those. UC's got double-digit games left. I mean, I, I guess my point is I, it's good to be excited. It, it's good to be, you know, hey, we're back. we we got to get back there. But just, just relax. I mean, Absolutely. don't get too ahead of yourselves. And they can't do that either. I, mean, I, I think – it might be time for me to go because I'm telling people to relax and not, be, you know what? But you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm aware thinking. that that's yeah. Hello, pot. Yes. Have well, realistic expectations. There you go. Uh, people can follow along all of the Friday they night lights. They can, and during the week too, it's at X Town Showdown on Twitter at X Town Showdown. We have daily features, uh, cool stuff then and now. We've got all all different stuff, game previews, team previews. Updates tonight from Beachwood High School. Kickoff again, 7.30, Simon Kenton at Beachwood. Anything and everything that is Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown, 
at X-Town Showdown on Twitter. We also have Instagram, Facebook. We're on the digital platforms and in your social space. Yes, you are. Well, until next week, Tom, you have a great weekend. Yes. Bridget, you do the same. Take care.